Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and today we're going to show you how to use GitHub to log into your Meteor site. Now we've gone over Facebook, Twitter, Google, and now the last one we're going to be doing is GitHub. Now, if you haven't used GitHub before, it's a social coding site where it allows you to upload and version control your code using Git. And because of that, a lot of developers have GitHub accounts. So if your site is going to be developer heavy, it might be a good idea to give them the ability to log in with their GitHub account. So let's check that out right now. Okay, so we're almost there. We've added Facebook, we've added Google, we've added Twitter, and now the last one I wanna add is GitHub. So to add GitHub, we're gonna head over to our terminal and just like we've been doing with the Meteor Ad Accounts Google, we're gonna go ahead and type Meteor Ad Accounts hyphen, and now, as you probably guessed, it's GitHub. Okay, so this is going ahead and adding our GitHub package. Uh, the login service for GitHub accounts has now been officially added. It just adds GitHub and accounts GitHub. Heading back over to our website, you see this familiar configure button. We're gonna go ahead and select that and it's gonna give us the helpful instructions on how to do this. So as you can see, this is uh, getting to be a really uh, useful pattern here where we're essentially filling out this configure form uh, when we wanna set these up. So let's go ahead and visit github.com slash settings slash application slash new. It's gonna ask you to log in if you're not already logged in. It's gonna ask for the application name. So we can just say uh, Meteor Resolutions. Um, okay. And now it's going to ask for the homepage URL so the homepage URL is just going to be our local host here. Copy that, paste it in. And the authorization callback URL is just going to be this underscore OAuth forward slash GitHub, just like that. Now we could add some more information like a logo and stuff like that. That way if uh, users want a little bit more confidence when logging in, that's sort of smart to do. We could go ahead and click register application and once more, it's giving you a client ID and a client secret. Both of these you're gonna to wanna to keep secret. You're not gonna to wanna to publicize this information anywhere. Like I said, uh, I'm deleting this application, so don't try to steal this information. Okay, now in here, we're gonna put the client ID just in here. And once more, the client secret is gonna go where it says client secret. Should be pretty easy. We're choosing pop-up based style logging and let's click save configuration. So now as you see, the GitHub was the easiest of them all. It couldn't be any easier. We now have the blue sign in with GitHub and let's click this. And it's uh, telling us that here uh, we need to authorize this application so you can log in. Let's go ahead and, ahead and click authorize. And we've now logged in. Once more, it's created a new user account. It has my name just like the other ones and we're ready to go. So we've now shown you how to log in with four different services. And don't worry if this many login videos uh, wasn't enough for you. We're also gonna show you how to build a custom login system yourself because there's a whole lot of stuff you can do by building a custom login system from scratch. Instead of using the uh, accounts UI package, you can use just the accounts package and build the forms uh, and what happens with those forms and how they work yourself. So check it out, a lot more Meteor videos on the way. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.